The Claim Details screen is the main screen of any account. It is the first screen you will see when accessing an account record. There are several sections of this screen. This is what we refer to as the account portion of the page. All account related fields will appear in this area. These fields are Client. The client is typically the party that provided the debt to collections, but can also be a reference to a business, portfolio, or other entity. Creditor. The creditor is the original provider of the funds for the debt being collected. It is often the same as the client, but it can be more specific if collecting for a client that works with multiple creditors or an outside creditor. If you plan to report to credit bureaus, the creditor, along with the appropriate Metro 2 class, will be required. Collector. The collector is the employee assigned to work on this particular account. When an account is assigned to a collector, they get credit for certain activity performed on the account. If a collector is not assigned, the account will be added to the unassigned distinction. Q. Queues are a filtering tool that allow you to further separate and assign accounts. When an account is assigned to a queue, no one can view the account unless they have permission to do so. Referring. Indicates referring attorney, if applicable. Sales rep. This assigns an internal sales representative to the account. Account type refers to either non-commercial or commercial accounts represented by either non-com or com. Account number. This number will be automatically generated by Simplicity Collect unless you provide your own unique number. It must be unique for every account. This number is the identifier used to search for the account, update the account, and your debtors can use it as a reference number when they call. Client Claim Number This can be used as a second level of account identification and to house a client given account number. Last Payment It is not an editable field, but will automatically populate once there are payments on the account. Age This indicates the age of the debt in number of days. Status allows you to assign a custom account status to the account. The status helps you identify what is going on with the account. Examples of a status include paid in full, settled in full, bankruptcy, deceased, etc. You can assign a status to an account by selecting one from the drop-down list. The status date will automatically change to the current date but can be overwritten if needed. Originated this is a date field that allows you to enter the date the loan or service was first given to the debtor by the client. Charged off. This is a date field that allows you to enter the date the debt was charged off and sent to collections, if applicable. Next work. This field allows you to enter a future date when you would like to next work this account. There is a corresponding filter that will allow you to search and sort accounts by next work date. First delinquency. This field allows you to enter the date of first delinquency. If you plan to report to credit bureaus, this field will be required. Claim Received This field allows you to enter the date your agency received the claim or debt. Purchased This field allows you to enter the date the account was purchased, if applicable. Debtor Payment ID this ID can be used to reference the debtor payment portal, which allows the debtor to make a credit card and or ACH payment online. Please note that some of these fields may be restricted from viewing and or editing for anyone other than system administrators. Mm -hmm.